And the winner is... And the winner is... Gosh, what's with all the award shows? And the winner is... Congratulations, and I now ask you to step forward to receive your Nobel Prizes. Nobel Prize? What's that? Beats me. What? You don't know what the Nobel Prize is? We're going to have to do something about that. Whoa! What's up with this? Hey, the dude's coming out of the TV. It's like alien. May I? Yeah, sure. Why not? So, uh, what's your story? Well, my name is Farid Murad, you can call me Fred. I'm a doctor and a researcher and a scientist at the University of Texas Houston Medical School. And oh, by the way, I got the Nobel Prize in medicine in 1998. So what is the Nobel Prize anyway? Well, the Nobel Prize is one of the greatest awards you can get in the world. Uh-huh. It's recognition from other scientists. So? Hmm. Well, you get to be on TV all over the world. There's a big party in Sweden. You even get to meet the king and queen of Sweden. You get a gold medal. And then, of course, there's the money. Money? Party? Royalty? Yeah. Maybe it'd be better if I show you. May I? Sure. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Fred. Welcome to my world of science and my laboratory. <laughs> you know, the Nobel Prize wouldn't even be around if it weren't for... Dynamite. Anyway, Alfred Nobel, the Swedish inventor and businessman who created the Nobel Prizes, was the guy that created dynamite. Nitroglycerin is the explosive chemical in dynamite. And even though it was very dangerous, Mr. Nobel figured out a way to contain nitroglycerin so that it could be put to good use, like to build stuff. You could say his discovery rocked the world. But nitroglycerin has other uses. When Nobel started having heart problems, his doctor actually prescribed nitroglycerin for his heart. But Nobel said, no way. So he blew it. <laughs> he figured anything that can blow stuff up can't be good for your heart. Nobody knew why it worked, but it did. 100 years later, Dr. Murad stopped to ask why nitroglycerin helps chest pain. And he shared the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine with Dr. Robert Furchgott and Dr. Louis Ignaro for figuring it out. So you're the dude that figured out why nitroglycerin helped people's hearts? Well, yeah. So? So what? So why does it work? We were trying to answer the question as to how nitroglycerin works to help with chest pain. I did experiments, observed the results, and collected data. Then I found out if what I thought was right or wrong. Anyway, what I did find was that nitroglycerin releases nitric oxide, and that nitric oxide does a lot of important stuff in the body. So what is nitric oxide, and what exactly did you figure out about it that got you this Nobel Prize? Let me show you. It protects the heart, it stimulates the brain, it kills bacteria, and it's a real gas. It's nitric, nitric oxide. oxide. Nitric oxide. Nitric oxide. No one can say no to N-O. Nitric oxide, or NO, is a simple molecule with two atoms, nitrogen and oxygen. And yes, it's a colorless, odorless gas. A scientific sensation sweeps the globe. Nitric oxide is everywhere. This common and toxic pollutant depletes the ozone layer. It's even found in car exhaust and cigarette smoke. But from super menace to superhero, nitric oxide is also found inside the human body and could help send very important messages, which are not from our sponsors. When blood flows through your blood vessels, the inner lining, or endothelium, releases nitric oxide. 
The nitric oxide signals your blood vessel to relax and widen. So what? This in turn lowers blood pressure. The force which the blood exerts on the vessel walls. If your blood vessels make enough nitric oxide to signal your blood vessels to relax, then your blood flows on through no problem. But if blood doesn't flow through, blood clots form. Then... And that's not all! Ooh, so, relaxed blood vessels allow more blood to flow and nitric oxide can have an impact on all different parts of the body. <laughs> For example, nitric oxide is already saving the lives of babies who were born too early. By breathing in very small doses of this gas, it helps their lungs and improves their breathing. And that's good. In nerve cells, nitric oxide can stimulate the brain, affecting things like behavior. <laughs> Oh, behave, baby. As part of the body's self-defense mechanism, nitric oxide defends against tumor cells and bacteria, too. It's amazing stuff. But nitric oxide is no laughing matter, and not to be confused with nitrous oxide, better known as laughing gas. <laughs> Somebody turn off that gas. <laughs> so how do you think of all that anyway? Well, over time, I became very interested in how cells talk to each other. But most other scientists didn't think that was very important. Dr. Murad figured out that when cells talk to each other, it's like one cell sends an email to another cell somewhere in the body. And the email is the gas nitric oxide. The email can break into another cell and take over how the other cell works. It may contain a message like instructions for a blood vessel to relax. Ah. Or it may contain some other type of instructions. For example, if the message is being sent to a cancer cell, the nitric oxide may kill the cancer and then self-destruct. Hasta la vista, baby. Nitric oxide in your body affects so many things it's like having a worldwide internet system inside your own body. So why did you go into science in the first place? Well, it's really a lot of fun to figure out how stuff like this works. And you don't have to be brilliant to get ahead. You just have to have some goals and be prepared to work very hard. As a scientist, you get to do something for the first time that nobody else has ever done, and that's exciting. Sometimes your discovery opens the door to a whole new way of thinking and even more new discoveries. It's really cool. It's kind of like the Science Olympics, and the gold is the Nobel Prize. Teams of scientists around the world compete with each other. It's fun. Who's going to finish first? Who's going to win the prize? One of you could be a Nobel Prize winner someday. Who knows? Hey, I had some more questions. Yeah, me too. Well, I guess we'll have to find out more on our own. Maybe we could check the internet. Yeah, and look up science in the Nobel Prize. They're gone, and they left some popcorn, didn't they? Yum.